Good afternoon, Facebook friends. This is Ree with Angel Messenger, and welcome to Tea Time with Ree. You can see I have my tea mug here. This is my Change the World tea mug. I actually meant to do videos like this about two years ago. I had this idea, and I've just been busy, as you know, dealing with a chronic illness. But I have been um, really seeing the importance of having more joy and play in my life. And it's something that I really wanted to start sharing with my audience. And so even though I can't really wear makeup and I'm not so pleased with the way I look anymore, I don't care. And <laughs> um, I just wanted to share that with you. And I want to share a really cool um, deck with you today. It's not an angel card deck. It is an affirmations deck. It has unicorn on it. So in a minute, I'm going to put this camera down so you can see me... Um, playing with this deck on a table here. Um, again, I am outside on my front porch as I was yesterday. As you can see, um, there's my beautiful wind chime. I don't know if you can see that. And down on the end, I have a gold butterfly one. Um, so I'm out here just enjoying the day, and I'm really happy about that because in Michigan, um, we have a lot of cold winter crappy weather, and it's not fun for me to be locked inside where I can't get outside. Um, if you saw our Facebook page today, we had a post about earthing and grounding, and that is something that really does work. It's not just um, new age BS, I guess, uh, something that people say. Um, you know, part of my journey has been to see through things in religion that aren't true and things in the spiritual community even that aren't true or aren't authentic. And grounding is one of those things that does have scientific backing behind it. And I can tell you from personal experience, it does work. Um, one of the things I deal with in my chronic illness is I have nerve pain. And um, I don't know if I'm looking at the camera. It looks like I'm looking sideways. So um, forgive me while I learn how to do this. Uh, I'm working on it. Um, but anyway, I have nerve pain. And one of the benefits of summer and being able to get outside is I can put my feet in the grass. And um, when I have nerve pain during the day, I can get outside and put my feet in the grass. And it seems to relieve the worst part of um, when my feet do get the shooting nerve pains and the, the heat in my feet. Um, unfortunately at 3 a.m. or 4 a.m. or 5 a.m. when I'm still up in bed um, on the second floor of my house, it is impossible for me to get downstairs and do that. Um, I wish I had my lawn up in the second floor of my house sometimes, but um, it would be nice to have a first floor bedroom we don't have that. So, um, it's really nice for me to be able to get out in the summer days like this. And it's a beautiful blue sky out here today. I don't know if you can see that. Um, so anyway, uh, let's look at this really cool affirmation deck. Um, there are some, a few in the store that are new. Um, there's a creativity one, a morning affirmation deck, an evening affirmation deck, a family one. Um, and this unicorn one, this one is newer. I wasn't able to get it the first time that we ordered. Um, so it's a really popular deck from the seller. Um, this is by Knock Knock. And of course, it's um, anything we sell in our store supports our charity projects as well as our website and my family and my illness. So, um, and as my, my own fur baby, Riley, would like me to tell you that even though we can't buy a lot of treats, sometimes for our um, charity work where we buy treats and toys for um, uh, total brain fog moment here. Hold on. Um, well, the places where dogs and cats go to be adopted. Yes, those places where I buy treats and toys for them. Um, sometimes I feel like I don't make a big enough difference, but my, my dog Riley assured me yesterday that Dogs definitely know the, the difference when they are and are not getting treats, and it makes a big difference for them. So any treats we can afford to buy through our charity work, and by you helping us do that, does make a difference for fur babies. So um, we're doing a great job together by the work that we do. So good job, all of us. 
Okay, so let's take a look at this Affirmators deck. I'm going to try to make sure I'm moving this here so you can see the table. Okay, so I did open this once just to open it and make sure I could open it. It's a little bit tighter to open than the angel cards I've used before. Um, there's a little card here on the top that tells you how to use it. Um, basically just says there's no wrong way to use it, uh, laws notwithstanding. They suggest to turn them face down on the table in front of you, shuffling them the way a three-year-old would, uh, mixing them around, close your eyes, take a deep breath, and silently ask the uh, the cards or your angels and guides to give you a message that will benefit you in the moment. Then reach in, pull a single card, and feel confident that this is the card for you, at least until the next time you pull a card. Read your affirmator, and for greatest potency, read it aloud. Say it as much as you like, then say it again. If you draw a bonus card, relish in its wisdom and use its gifts at will. You've been bestowed with great and mighty powers reserved only for 10 cards in this deck. What fortune. Hmm. Okay. I think I read that right. Yeah. Reserved only for 10 cards in this deck. Well, I don't know what that means, but I guess we'll find out. Okay. So I like it when they have these little ribbons to help you get the cards out. Okay. So this is... Um, other cards that they have, other things, so. Um, so in the back it shows, it has the unicorn, same thing there. So I'm just going to shuffle these normally. These are about the same size as um, Doreen's decks, but they don't have the, they're a little thinner, and they don't have the cold edging. to move my tea and my lip balm. <laughs> Actually, this card really wants to... Both of these cards want to come out. Oh, well, there's three there four there. Okay, well, I guess we'll just, we'll do this, we'll do those four, and I'll lay them out, and you guys can choose which card you think is for you, kind of like how Reverend Colleen does her card readings. So I'll lay them, this is card one, card two, card three, and card four. So we'll just give you guys a look here. Which card do you feel like is for you? Card one, card two, card three, card four. Card three has a little smudge on its neck. Guess he must have been at a campfire. <laughs> okay, so let's take a look at card one. Oh, wait a minute. Card one has two cards. We're cheating here. Okay. So, well, that's interesting. I thought this one was for me. And look at that. I was talking about joy. Um, so let's see. I can't even tell if you can see this. All right. So joy. To enjoy something, I simply need to add joy to it. Joy is like butter. I can put it on anything and it'll make, <laughs> make it way better. Today I will add joy to everything. Really slather it on. Today I am the Orville Redenbacher of joy, and life's pop popcorn is about to get better. So these are kind of really fun-loving um, affirmation cards. So that's kind of funny. Okay, so letting go. Um, and for me, letting go does really go along hand-in-hand hand with joy. Um, it's hard for me to, to have joy because I, the way I grew up, it's... I, I never really felt like I could have joy for myself, and that's kind of a long story, but letting go really does go with that. So um, for those of you who chose card one, you kind of get two cards. I hope this, this helps you. Um, letting go. I don't dwell on bad things that happened. I let things go because I have enough heavy things to carry around, and also grudges aren't a great look. 
Well, yes, that is true, and I have let a lot of things go, but for me, there's a difficulty in that as well, because you have to have strong boundaries regarding people who continue to be the way they are and, and don't don't want to be any different, and if you continue to let them be in your life the way they are, they'll continue to hurt you again and again, or they'll continue to hurt others. So you may have to let them go completely um, for whatever that means for you. So that's card one. And then card two is love. Oh, birds. Um, love is a many splendored thing. Today I will notice and appreciate at least three of those splendors. Like the fact that puppies make me feel like a parent. Or the surge of self-congratulation I feel when I sink a three-point trash basket shot on the first try. Or how about the chills I get when singing along to whatever song you sing along to. So... That's cute. Reminds me of this video I saw recently of this, I think it was a parrot. He was hiding behind a pop can, and he kept um, peeking out behind the pop can to its owner going, peek the boo and making all these cute little noises. But he was definitely a lovable little bird. Card three, uh, magic. I believe in magic. I see evidence of all the... I see evidence of it all the time, and though the tricks can probably be explained away by something sensible and ordinary, I'd rather not ruin the fun. Other people call, can fill their days with mere coincidence. I'll fill mine with, holy crap, that's unbelievable. <laughs> Do you see magic every day? I see magic in a lot of things. Card four, Joyville. You know what that says? Welcome to Joyville. Okay, no judgment. I release myself from any and all judgments. I find my inner critic, call it to my office, and tell it to take a vacation. I think I need card four too. As it leaves the room, I let out a sigh and begin to enjoy the joy of simply being. Who hired that guy anyway? Yeah, I need card four too. <laughs> okay. So I hope that helped you guys, and um, if you'd like the deck, there are um, four or five still available in the store at angelmessenger.net. Um, it's under the activities um, section, I believe. So anyway, I hope you're all doing well, and enjoy your Sunday. I like to have Sundays as a day of self-care and rest, and even though I'm technically doing a little work, this was fun. So um Try to have a little joy in your day and love and magic and no judgment. Do something that brings you happiness. And if you can get outside, do a little bit of grounding and let those electrons from Mother Earth um, ground your energy and uh, help you feel joy and magic and love. Blessed be.